Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys not only how to groom your brows, but how to reshape it and fill them in. These are tips that I personally use every day, and they're super easy. I have all the products here in this cute little bear bag. Ah! Unfortunately, I think half of the world's population is lacking in the brow department, so if you have beautiful, thick, luscious brows, please embrace them, don't pluck them. We are super jelly of anything. We wish you guys can send us some brow hairs. I mean, donate some, please, I can use some. So go online, find a celebrity or someone that you really like. Look at how they do their brows. I think, you know, it's, it's nice to find inspiration because it gives you ideas to work off with. And also, don't be scared to experiment. I mean, that's the whole point of makeup. You can play around with it and you can just wipe it off if you don't like it. So the first thing I like to do when it comes to reshaping my brows is brushing the brow hairs and to neatly flatten them so you can see the shape if this is something you can work with. And from there, if you want to, especially if you have really long brow hairs, they have a mind of their own and they just grow in so many different places, you can use a balm to flatten them. So let's say, for example, you're a little too scared to experiment with plucking away. I don't blame you, especially for those who have a hard time growing out their brow hairs because you don't want to over pluck and then you're waiting three months later for it to grow out. So what I recommend is getting a good nude eyeliner. Getting an eyeliner that matches your skin tone. So I have here my flesh tone eyeliner and the name is In The Nude. And what you wanna do is use this nude eyeliner to basically correct and erase any of the stray hairs. Gives you an example of what your brows will look like before plucking them. So you don't have to commit to a shape. You can really just play around and erase any of the hairs that you don't like. Or maybe if you wanna see what you're gonna look like with super skinny arch brows, you can really do that. And once you've mapped everything out, all you have to do is take a tweezer I recommend Tweezerman just because I've been using this since I was like 15 years old and they've, you know, they've never steered me wrong. You know, this is not sponsored or anything. I really like Tweezerman. I think they make great quality tweezers because they're super sharp. So find a really good tweezer. You don't want to get a cheap tweezer just because they don't last as long. So you can either use ice to numb the pain or you can use a teething gel. For, for babies, you know, when they're teething and they're in pain. Poor little guys, they're so cute. Um, you can use the numbing gel and you can apply it over the brows and that will numb it a little so that you can pluck away. But honestly, I mean, it's not that painful. I'm sure you guys have gone through much more painful things, but if you're very, very sensitive, then either use ice or a teething gel. So with your tweezer, what you wanna do is you wanna start plucking away the stray hairs that the nude eyeliner has covered up, pulling in the direction where the hair is growing because if you pull it the other way, it might hurt a little. And the faster you pluck, the less it's gonna hurt. <sighs> I know, so much work just for brows, but believe me, it's worth it. So now that your brows are plucked and primed, they are ready to be filled in. This is my favorite part. The first thing I do, depending on um, the mood I'm in, is I fill in my brows with a powder. You can either use an eyeshadow powder and you wanna make sure the texture is matte because if it's shiny or it has like a pearl texture, it's not gonna look as natural. Rule of thumb is if your hair is dark, your brows should be two to three shades lighter than your hair color. If your hair color is light, it should be two to three shades darker. If you want a more edgier look, uh, the brows should be darker. But then again, like I said, it's always fun to experiment, so whatever works with your face. Uh, take your angled eyeliner brush and dip it in either the brow powder. So Anastasia makes a really good one called Brow Wiz Loose Powder. I have this one in medium brown and it's really good. I love it. Or you can use a neutral brown or taupe eyeshadow color, and this one is by Makeup Forever. And load it up with your angled eyeliner brush and start filling in the brows. If you can color in a picture, you can do makeup. This is really easy. So just fill it in and feather it out. So don't worry about getting the shape down. It's really not about the shape when you're filling in your brows with powder. It's more about just getting the volume and just filling it in so that there's not any empty spaces. However, if you're looking for more shape, that's when you can play around with a pencil. And what a pencil does is that it gives you more freedom and more flexibility to draw on your brows in different ways. I see the benefit of using both powder because it softens the brows and it gives a very natural look, combining it with a pencil to get more of that structure. So once you filled in your brows with powder, now you can take your pencil and you can start lightly just feathering in the brows. Just creating little strokes. It's really simple. You don't have to be Da Vinci to do something like this. 
If you can draw a line, you can fill in your brows. So make quick little strokes and just feather in your brows, like so. Brows are not twins, they're sisters. And I know some of you feel like they're cousins or they're stepsisters, and trust me, I have days where I feel like they're not even related, but um, it's fine. Brows are not supposed to be identical because first off, your face is not symmetrical. There's no such thing as a symmetrical face unless you're Denzel Washington. I think for the rest of us mere mortals, we have very, very asymmetrical faces and it's totally fine, it's natural. It's supposed to be like that. In fact, I will show you a picture of my face normally and now my face is perfectly symmetrical. It looks weird. So taking your spoolie, this is really important. The spoolie is just as important as all your other tools you have here. Take your spoolie and start brushing and combing everything out. It's gonna blend everything together so it's gonna look more natural. It's still gonna have its structure, but it's not gonna look as drawn on. So now that you've perfected your brows and everything looks amazing and your masterpiece is on your face, usually I'm, I'm good from there. But if I wanna get really fancy schmancy, I top it off with brow gel. So there's two different types that you can get. You can get a tinted brow gel, like the one I have here by Lash M, or you can use a clear one, or again, another tinted one by Shu. Shu, in my opinion, makes the best makeup products. I love you, Shu. Rest in peace, I love you. And I think what I love most is how small the brush is. It is so small and cute and adorable. But it's so tiny and it really gets to every single part of your brows. Right now, the trend is big brows. The bigger, the better. That's what she said, seriously. Um, the bigger, the better. <laughs> So once you've filled in your brows and you've you know manicured it so it looks great, if you want to give it that beautiful edge, and this is something I personally don't really do, but if that's your look, all good, I can show you a way to create that perfect manicured brow look. And what you wanna use is concealer, a really good concealer. If I were to really splurge on anything, it's really concealer. And the reason why, it's because I, I make makeup products. I know how cheap and how expensive you can get. I'm not saying to buy the most expensive concealer. I'm just saying invest in a good quality concealer, something that's gonna cover up and last long. That's what you're paying for. Of course, I'm gonna recommend my own brand because I made this, I know it works, and it's called The Great Cover Up. And taking a tiny little brush, just load it up and just start dabbing it over the areas where you want that sharp edge. Um, if you're more like me and you prefer having that rugged brow look and you want something that's a little more natural and unruly, um, skip the concealer, you don't really need it. Embrace the strays. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Celebrate how amazing your brows look by taking a bunch of selfies. There's nothing wrong with, you know, celebrating how beautiful you are. Share your pictures with me by hashtagging Michelle Fawn, my name, either on Twitter and Instagram so I can find them and like them. All right, guys, that is it. Hugs and kisses. Love you guys so much. Uh, best of luck. And I'll see you in my next video. Good luck.